Another very valuable feature for EDIUS is the source browser. Now what the source browser does is it will recognize certain cameras that are connected. So for instance, the Panasonic AG3DA1, uh, the JVC, the Sony, uh, I believe there may be one or two others, but uh, those are the first three that pop to mind. Uh, all those cameras will be recognized when you plug them into your computer. So as you see right now, it's brought up, we've connected the Sony and it's brought up those files. And now if we right click on it, it gives us some options that we can work with those files in order to capture them and bring them in. So we can either transfer them to BIN, uh, we can go ahead and capture them and transfer them to BIN, or we can add them directly to the timeline or the player. Okay, so the first files we're gonna try to bring in are gonna be the Panasonic AG3DA1. These are some of the easiest to work with for setting up stereoscopic. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to the Eagle Festival, we're gonna go to day seven, where we have Panasonic, Nano Flash, GoPro, and Sony all in the same folder. So when we open up, let's first go in and get our left files. We go all the way here till we get to stream. We see all our left files listed. Control A selects all of them and we just click open. And you're gonna see they're gonna load up right here. Now, what I like to do is initially start out with this view where we have these big clip, because then it's very easy to reach over here. Right click, click add file, and let's go back out and we get our right hand side. So we go back here, open it up, get all our right hand files and open them up. Then what I found easiest to do because Edius wants these to be next to each other, both the right and the left clips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna change to detail text large. And that gives us a, a, a thumbnail plus it gives us our numbers. And if I go to the top and if I just click on end time code, as you can see, I now am organized where I have a left and a right, left and a right. So now it's all organized for me. We can see that these are the same files. Before we start making our, setting our stereoscopic files, so we've got them in order. We go over here to view, and let's change our stereoscopic mode from left only. And just for sake of ease of seeing things, uh, let's change it to blend, which is similar to what you would see if you were looking inside the Panasonic viewfinder with the overlay. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna create our stereoscopic pairs. So I clicked over here on the bin, hit control A, which selects everything. Right clip, I've got 72 clips. I'm gonna set them all as stereoscopic. This brings up the stereoscopic setting window. And in here you see our left clips and our right clips. Now if you accidentally do something wrong, you can click on it and with this little button here in the center, you can switch your right and your left. But ours are okay, so we're not gonna worry about that. What also we can do is we can check the clip to make sure that we're in sync. We bring it up, click check monitor, and as you see here on the, on the monitor preview, you see everything looks to be in sync. Let's move it over and make sure we're still in sync. Hit check monitor again. And you see the camera's done a move, but yet everything is still in sync. So we're in good shape. So what we're gonna do, I know that all the Panasonic files all work together. There are, you don't have to worry about them not being in the proper order or not syncing up together because they're being recorded by the camera at the same time. So all you have to do is click OK. We've now created stereoscopic files. If you right click up here on the information bar and you see the list of things that you can bring up, if we click this stereoscopic we then will get a column that shows us whether stereoscopic is enabled as we've just done or disabled. Okay, so the next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to sequence one. And just to show you how this works, I'm gonna right click, go to sequence settings, and I'm gonna call this Panasonic AG3DA1. And say okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on our clips that we've created, our stereoscopic pairs. And let's find our control A. And I'm gonna click here to go ahead and add these to the timeline so we can take a quick look at them. 
and there we have it. And if you play these, let's come up here to one where we have some action here. I'm going to buffer that right away for 10 bit. And you see we've got perfect synchronization, no problem at all.